It's Coffee Stream with uh, me, Seth. And uh, we are within 20 minutes of um, 20 minutes of, sh- of streaming or of the Xbox briefing actually starting. And this I'm actually really excited for because not only we have like games coming out, we also have Project Scorpio coming out. <clears throat> Whatever launch title is going to be coming out with Project Scorpio. Just and uh, see whatever's coming out with Project Scorpio. Plus, not to mention like what I saw from uh, Phil Spencer, or not from Phil Spencer, but um, <clears throat> sorry, I kind of kind of been uh, testing some stuff out. But anyway, from what I saw from I think you're Phil Spencer or somebody, I see that uh, that like uh, this presentation is actually going to be. A little longer than the standard usual presentation right now and that usual standard is usually like an hour and a half or 90 minutes basically so to see what like I want to see like what is actually in store for us this time though because I mean well this is the kind of curious though like are they gonna be showing more games or are they gonna be kind of like doing like how they kind of did with Xbox one not like the all the stuff on there, but I meant like um, like are they gonna use that more time to like t- talk about the Project Scorpio specs and everything? So, or are they gonna be focusing on the games itself that might be coming out as well too? So hopefully we'll get our answers today and everything, and uh, we'll see. But if uh, you want to chat with me at all, I have my phone right here, here to like um, to go look at the chat and everything. And if not, I have I also see, can able to see um, from my computer over here. So if you want to chat up with me or like speak with me, you could just type it in the command there. And hopefully that you enjoy watching this Xbox briefing with me. And hope to watch with me uh, for the Bethesda stream later on today. It's uh, 2.42 mountain time right now, so so we are just waiting on the stream right now, which is happening within 17 minutes. So hopefully, um, what games I would actually kind of want to see. The one thing I actually kind of want to see is, um, well, Crackdown 3, like, I've always heard of, or, like, they always kind of been, like, they talked about 1E3, but never got the chance to, like, show anything, just that trailer. So hopefully that actually will make a show over here. Um, what's another one? Because also there is no Halo or... No Halo or um or any of that like or virtual reality is gonna be showing up on there from what they said. I kind of want to see what I wonder if they actually are gonna shot a date for Cuphead though, because Cuphead is the one I actually kind of always been wanting to play ever since I first seen it. Because it does remind me of like a um, like a um, like na- like of course 60s style cartoon like back in the animation golden age basically. So, I want to see that. What other games did, did they ever tease, though? Assassin's Creed might be one. Anthem. That's right. I forgot. Anthem's going to be showing gameplay footage of it. Because that one actually looks pretty interesting. And it's from the Bioware company, too. So. So, I can't wait to see that. Um, uh, another one. That'd be pretty good to watch. I don't know. If anybody you guys want to, like, uh... See what any games, games or like stuff you want to see, just put it in the chat right there. But yeah, like there's so many stuff that could be going out. Plus with the, I wonder if like how does the Xbox Scorpio look though? Because if you've seen it from the from the videos before, like they actually posted on their their Xbox channel or yeah Xbox channel, it kind of does look like 
maybe the Xbox One, but also it does look kind of a bit different though. But I don't know if those are the final designs of the Xbox One Scorpio, or if that's even going to be its name. Which I actually do kind of want, or I don't know, for the name of it, because Project Scorpio is literally the project name, but I wonder if they are going to be keeping it with, um, with uh, the name though, Xbox Scorpio. Because that, I'll admit though, that actually sounds pretty cool. Other than um, Miles Luna, uh, Miles Luna, like, uh, was it Super Xbox One? Because <laughs> he, because <laughs> that would be pretty funny if they actually do that, do it like that, like, uh, like Super Nintendo kind of thing. Because that would be pretty damn funny if it was. So, anyway, um, also for the price range on it, from what they are, um, from what they are, uh, like advertising and everything about the box and everything, it's actually, I want to say it would go up to at least four ninety nine, maybe three ninety nine, maybe. But if you have that much power and stuff, man, you're gonna be like, uh, you have to try to find the balance of it unless they put it like at maybe four fifty, four fifty nine. Or 449, something like that. So, but that the price. I hope it's actually pretty good. Hold on, let's see. Uh, where is it? PlayStation, PS4 Pro price. <clears throat> Starts from 399 to 549. Why is it so expensive? Cause I mean, I understand if it's um, I understand if it's for memory, but hmm. but yeah, just what time is it? Three forty-seven. So about thirteen minutes till freaking Xbox press conference. So yeah, just really excited to see what's going on here. I should stop touching my feet. But yeah, um, what's another thing I heard that's over here, or that could be happening over here? Um, uh, hmm. that's kind of hard to think about. Hmm. Okay, not not to distract from the previous one. But um, for the EA press conferences, it actually was pretty good. Like, there's some good ones, some bad ones. Of course, the sports ones, as usually. But Battlefield, though, like, what I was going to try to say from yesterday, but I completely forgot about it, is that um, their post-DLC, like, which I'm actually happy about. That um, I'm actually really happy about um, about them bringing over uh, or making it like how like Halo and uh, Time are doing it with the post DLC which is all free so like all the maps heroes vehicle and weapons are all free I'm just kind of curious on like how are they gonna do with like because if they're gonna do it with not that model they're actually gonna be bounding to bring up microtransactions which I know it's not gonna be or I know it's probably gonna be for cosmetics and everything but what will they put out unless it's gonna be like a uh, Halo's like um like like a uh, microtransaction which is with the um, with the rec system and everything. So who knows like or if not like be like a uh, Titanfall's um rec or microtransaction which is like a uh, cosmetics but sold for like prime versions of the Titans and everything. Which I'm kind of sad about though too because um just like last year they kind of neglected um Microsoft's or Timefall, like, uh, everything, because they really kind of screwed up Timefall, like, big, like, big, like, because if Timefall was released probably, like, today, or, no, sorry, maybe February, or, like, March, it would get huge, huge, like, purchases and everything, but they got so, like, bad luck that they actually got put in between Battlefield and Call of Duty. Which is really bad because that's such a good game to like play though too. So, man, 
which time Timefall actually had more of a better like coverage though, because I think it's underwhelming or it's like under um, under look at or yeah, basically. Just because it's like it, it's uh, yeah, like it's so like under talk about like people don't even talk about it. They just I'm just so mad about it and. Nah, I'm not gonna do that rant because, because <laughs> that that's another a whole other thing. Because uh, that's one thing. Okay, I guess I'm going into it. Anyway, um, one of the game game award shows, which was um, which I don't remember what it was, but there was a one award that said um, what was it um? It said it was best studio 180 turn. Well, anyway, yeah. So we got less than ten minutes till the stream, or till the briefing starts, press conference, and we will actually see what Xbox what has stored for us. And then, like, uh, once this stream will, once I give off my post, like thoughts and everything about it. Once I give off my post. That or thoughts about it and end the stream but I'll be bringing the stream back up again around let's say about 540 540 640 actually I probably should check that right now because like I got this one time wrong so When you, when you reset that. Wow, so that's a late start. Ten mountain time. So okay, so we are actually gonna be starting the stream about 9:30, 9:40, maybe 9:50 though, because I don't really much have like any thoughts, like pre thoughts about it. So, so uh, yeah, like if you join join me then. Well, we'll go ahead and see that. And man, that's a late start. Jeez, that started later than I thought. Well, and plus tomorrow, PlayStation, um, I will be maybe be uh, out of um, out of the my house to watch it at a movie theater. So I may give like a quick like 20, 30 minutes, or even then 10 minutes, like post pre-stream or pre-stream and then post-stream, give you my thoughts on it and everything. So PlayStation, I really don't know, like, huh? But anyway, like, that's gonna be something to look forward to. Probably should turn off the ticket. But anyway, um, hopefully that, um, that we'll see something good today. Because this is probably the longest day for probably streamers that are streaming, like, uh, streaming for the post, the, or streaming for E3. Enjoy the little music though, and and I am actually unlike uh, yesterday, I'm actually on the official Xbox stream. So so we won't be having it like uh, yesterday where like we were on the Twitch stream and they were kind of a little laggy right there. So sorry, just just something so at least I know like if I'm still on the air.
Less than five minutes till the stream starts. Getting a little chills think about it. Cause this is always my favorite time of year. Just to like I think it's every gamer's favorite time of year just to like just to like see it, so. So I'm really excited because like this year is literally kinda like the set almost somewhat set schedule for the next year next E3. Because this is where they show all the releases to um, to the public and everything, and plus what they actually have in store for later years, like how they did last, like how Xbox and PlayStation did last year, and same with Bethesda. Yeah, so that uh, we all, that at least will tell us like what's going on, or like what they have in store for us within the next year. And of course, with Xbox boon, doing a bombshell though with the two console like showing. Which like, which is the Xbox Slam and the Xbox Scorpio, like at be or Xbox Slam at the beginning and the Xbox Scorpio at the end. So, shoot. I can't be coming faster enough. Almost here. Almost to the briefing. Conference. Whatever the hell they call it. Which ironically, I'm actually like watching it on the next box. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. Much better. But yeah, like I can't wait. Why can't it come faster? Jesus. Just be on my phone while I wait for this. And it's like also let me keep track of time too, so. A minute away till we start. God, as usually, the Twitch chat is always so toxic. Jesus. Like I know it usually doesn't start on time, so. But still, like it. There we go. Okay, now we are starting. Shut up. <laughs> wow. What? Twelve eighty by seven twenty. All right. All right. 
the Xbox 360 and the original Xbox before that. Now we're going back to time. Ooh, they got a little time fall in there. Now they got back to 2013 with 1980 by 1020 with the Xbox. Ooh. <laughs> Please show off the console. Ooh, I like the stage presence though. This is the 2017 Xbox E3 briefing. Sorry, right, a little low on me. There you go. Ooh. That's cool. What the? Ooh. Ooh, are they gonna be building it one, hand by one by one? Damn, I wish I had a 4K, t 4K to watch this. So it looks really amazing. So gears. What's that? Shadow Mordor. I, I would say. Chief, of course. You gotta have Chief in there. Forza Horizon. Holy crap. Jesus. This gear is four. Crackdown? Oh, what? Oh, god damn, that scared the shit out of me. Wow. That thing is... That's actually... Does it mean or does it look like a little bit like the... I want to say PlayStation, but still, that looks Ladies pretty good, though. The head of Xbox. I just want to see how Bill big Spencer. it is, though, compared to the 360... Or to the... One. Hey, <laughs> 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 no, stop. <laughs> Phil, uh, Phil, 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 Phil. Okay. <laughs> Good afternoon to those of you with us here in person watching on this incredible 4K screen. Damn. To the millions watching us around the world or TV or online. And to those of you watching and interacting on Mixer, on behalf of everyone on Team Xbox, welcome to E3 2017. Yeah. Oh, damn it. Oh, all right. Well. When the renegade group of gamers, creators, and engineers came together to form the original Xbox team and deliver the first Xbox console, we were driven by three principles. Empower developers, delight gamers, and deliver true hardware and technical innovation. The original Xbox team lived by the mantra, there's no power greater than X. <laughs> and today, we are pre proud to welcome the newest member of the Xbox family, fittingly named Xbox One X. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Xbox One X, the most powerful console ever made, sets a new quality standard for gamers and game creators. Starting on November 7th, Xbox what? One X joins the Xbox One and the Xbox One S when it launches worldwide. Nice. That's pretty cool. Now, that thing looks smaller than the One I'd like S, to introduce one of our leaders in the Xbox engineering team responsible for making the Xbox One experience great for gamers and developers. 
Please welcome my friend, Kareem Chowdhury, to tell you more. All right. That's pretty cool to have center stage. Thanks, Phil. It's an honor to be here at E3 and represent three years of engineering the team has done to bring you Xbox One X. From the beginning, our focus on game creators and you, the gamer, gave us three big goals we needed to hit. Power, compatibility, and craftsmanship. Let's talk power, which starts with the specs. Six teraflop GPU clocked Jeez. at 1.172 gigahertz. 12, giga 12 GDDR gigabytes of GDDR5 memory and 326 gigabytes per second of memory bandwidth. Damn. Shit. That's a lot of power. These are impressive numbers that are more powerful than any other console on every dimension because that's what it takes to give game creators the power they need so you can experience true 4K resolution, 4K textures, and 4K assets in your living room. Yeah. <laughs> and when we say true 4K, we mean 8 million pixels, high dynamic range, wide oh. color gamut, premium sound like Dolby Atmos, and 4K UHD Blu-ray playback. Yeah, Jesus. Next, Sounds compatibility. Like we knew compatibility was critically important for Xbox One X, and yeah. your reaction to 360 backward compatibility has energized the team even more. So right from the start, all of your Xbox One accessories and games will work with nice. Xbox One X. Yes, nice, fun, sweet. But for the team and me, that wasn't good enough. We wanted more. The game library you have today will look and play even better on Xbox One X with enhanced visual fidelity, anisotropic filtering, and faster load times. Nice, sweet. Even if you haven't made the jump to a 4K TV yet, we designed this product for you as well. Since Xbox One X enables a technique called super sampling, the new 4K games you see on stage today will look better on your 1080p TV than anything you've seen before. Okay, that's pretty cool. I'm, I'm glad about that. And nice. finally, craftsmanship. We meticulously paid attention to every detail of design as we crafted our most technically advanced console ever. It starts with the Scorpio engine. We use 16 nanometer technology to build a 360 square millimeter chip with 7 billion transistors and a 384 bit wide memory bus. Damn! This is the fastest, most advanced processor to ever power a console. Shit. Our premium design means that every millimeter and every component within the console has been architected for maximum power and efficiency. Our aspirations were so high an industry standard approach just wasn't good enough. The Scorpio engine is so intense it's liquid that for cool? the first time ever on a console, we're using a liquid-cooled vapor chamber normally reserved for servers and high-end PC cards. Cool! Wow! An engineer on the Xbox hardware team invented a new power management system so innovative, we named it after him. The Hovis method uniquely optimizes every single Xbox One X at the system and component level to deliver consistent performance efficiently and elegantly. Now, this it's easy be a steep to think price. all this technology and capability will mean a bigger console. But again, we wanted more. <laughs> Not only have we built the most powerful console ever, Xbox One X, is the smallest Xbox ever. No way, what? My eyes didn't deceive me, what? This is the system you asked us to build, and it has been a great honor to design and build it for you. I couldn't be more proud of our team, and I hope you love it as much as we do. What's the price on now, it, though? Now, let's see what this monster can do. Okay, actually, yeah, let's, let's see. Exclusive world premiere. Oh. Oh, I'm getting chills. 
Dude, that looks so real. A little bit off, but still. Wow, even the heat from there. Of course, they gotta go with Forza Horizon to start it off. It's not what they used to like start it off, so. I bet you if my brother watches, he'd probably be freaking out by like what cars are on here, I bet you. Dude, he's a big cars fan, so. What the hell? What? Wow. Please welcome, from the Forza Racing franchise, Dan Greenewald. That actually looks pretty good on my freaking TV too, shit. Hope it looks good on your guys' too. In the automotive world, supercars are debuted at international auto shows. Frankfurt, Paris, Detroit. But through your passion for racing on Xbox and PC, Forza has become the premier partner to the automotive industry. So today, for the first time in history, a flagship supercar is making its world debut here at E3 in front of you. Is another car going to pop up? Oh, yep, yeah, another car is popping up. This year, we announced a six-year partnership with Porsche. Holy shit. To bring shit. you amazing experiences, Ooh, both what in is game in this? and in person. Porsche shares our vision for the future of racing and esports. I got to get my brother in And here. this car has never been seen outside of the guarded walls of Porsche. No! No! Damn it! Come on. Come on, load it up. Porsche. That honor belongs to you exclusively. <laughs> RS. Oh, come on, load it up. Load it up. Ooh, damn. This is not only the most aggressive expression yeah. of Porsche's legendary design, it features the, the most powerful road going 911 engine ever made. Like the Xbox One X, it's a monster. And with over 4.8 million active players across Xbox and Windows 10, Forza is one of the largest racing communities on the planet. Sorry, I'm going to have a quick you cameo with my brother. You made this historic moment possible. Through your That's passion car, for racing, the, the digital right and the real worlds are merging yeah. in an unprecedented way. Yeah, that's so a new now, car. So now, let's take a look at the a Porsche 911 GT2 uh, RS in Forza Motorsports 7 running on Xbox One X. I'm joined on stage by two presenters for our Forza Racing Championship eSports series. I'm Shannon McIntosh, professional race car driver and Porsche driving coach. I'll be pushing the GT2 RS to its limits on the sun-baked streets of Dubai. And I'm Verena May, professional racer and stunt driver. I will be fighting to survive dynamic weather in the Nürburgring in this Nissan GTR race car. We start oh, with Shannon right in her customized driver on Dubai. Using the power of Xbox One X, Forza Motorsport 7 runs at a native 4K at and a rock solid 60 frames per second. Yeah. That's on the new and Xbox One we have the additional power to deliver shocking levels of detail. Using super high resolution assets, we've recreated the intense feel of one of the greatest driving roads in the world, the Hafeet Mountain Pass. But in Forza Motorsport 7, we've reimagined the entire racing experience on all devices. Racing is more immersive and dynamic. Ominous skies roll in yeah, as car parts buttons. rattle and vibrate. 
We've made racing more epic and Ooh. grand. Race through living environments, featuring spectacular vistas and massive scale. You can see we've made racing more dynamic and surprising. Dynamic puddles grow as the storm unleashes its fury. It's more thrilling and competitive. Feel the intense heat grease up your tires oh. as you battle your rivals. And it's more beautiful and alive. Dark skies open up and change as the That's sun emerges really cool. from the clouds for a breathtaking finish. Racing is reborn in Forza. Whether running on the Xbox One family of consoles or Windows 10 PCs, Forza Motorsport 7 is the most technically advanced and comprehensive racing games ever made. That's still a nice looking With car, more than though. 700 cars, it features the largest collection of Lamborghinis, Ferraris, and Porsches ever assembled. Today, you are the first people to see the 2018 Porsche 911 GT2 RS. And this week at E3, like me, you can be the first to drive it. So come experience the most powerful road-going 911 ever made on the Xbox One X, the most powerful console Coming ever made in Forza Motorsport 7. Thank you. That's Xbox, like, I'd play anywhere title too. That's pretty cool. <laughs> and I think that's it for Forza. I'm going to play a ton of Forza Motorsport 7 when it ships on October 3rd. All right, see you, David. And when Xbox One X launches, we will all get to experience Forza Motorsport 7 in true 4K at 60 frames per second. Jeez. Today, we're going to showcase the world's greatest creators with a lineup of different types of games for every type of gamer. It is the largest and I believe the most diverse lineup of games that we've ever shown on our Xbox E3 stage. Games from creators large and small, games that inspire and challenge us, games that transport us to new worlds and offer us new perspectives, and games that push the boundary of our art form. Today, we will feature 42 games here on our stage. Holy crap, that's a lot of games. Including 22 games with console exclusivity on Xbox One. Damn! Okay, now they're really bringing it out. Every Holy crap. Every one of these games will play great on each member of the Xbox One family, but of course, they will play best on Xbox One X. Damn! Up next is a game from a creative team that built their franchise on Xbox. In 2010, 4A oh. Games worked with us to launch a single-player masterpiece that I played on Xbox 360. Now, I'm honored to bring them back with the premiere of their next work, running in-engine in true 4K. What, what, what was, what's the World game? World premiere. What's the game? I'm curious, what's the game? Is this a new Metro game? Bet you it is in the new Metro game, I bet you. Jesus. Holy shit. Uh 
What the? <sighs> Damn, that looks good. Wow. <laughs> Sorry. I wonder why the Xbox, like, press conference is going to be a lot longer. No. This is not. This is not what I think it is. No, I can't be. No, I think I'm right. Oh, God. <laughs> I was right, it was a new Metro game. Wow. Damn, next year. World premiere. We're gonna have a lot of world premieres, I bet you. We are the first. Is this Assassin's Creed? The first to see the gods. The first oh, this got to be Assassin's Creed. Their beasts. The first to guard the soul from evil. We conquered this land and built an empire. But there are whispers on the wind. A brotherhood born in the shadows. Holy crap. They are the first to call themselves the Assassins. What? Shit. Oh. God. Alright. That was actually pretty cool. Please welcome from Ubisoft, creative director Sean Gadon. Thank you. Ancient Egypt is the birthplace of modern civilization. 
And it is also the birthplace of the Assassin's Brotherhood. Huh. Assassin's Creed Origins is taking you to the perfect setting for an epic gaming adventure. Egypt, 3,000 years of history and mystery at the tip of your fingers. Assassin's Creed Origins is also the story of one man, Bayek. Bayek is the last Medjay, the protector of his community, an Egyptian sheriff, if you like. And his struggle against the dark forces that corrupt ancient Egypt will lead to the foundation of the Assassin's Brotherhood. But recreating ancient Egypt, going back so far in time, pushed us to rethink and expand our gameplay mechanics. We added many RPG elements to a huge systemic world, more detailed and alive than ever before. So today, we are very proud to show you what the game looks like on Xbox One X <laughs> running on, in man. 4K. And now, just for you, Bayek is coming back to Siwa, his hometown, to kill the fake oracle Medunamun. World premiere. Edit it for time, of course. Siwa, my home, the sacred oasis. Be my eyes, Senu. <laughs> Literally, eagle vision. Ah, I get it. <laughs> this temple resembles a fortress. What has happened? Get out of my way. So I was like, Ghost Recon a bit with the uh, drones. I want to say. There you are, Medunamon. The next masked one on my list. Now it is my turn to tip the balance of Anubis. Damn. I like how that guy's night didn't even see him at all. Yeah, that guy. Jesus. The people understand. We have broken their will. They understand us. Better be careful here. I should go drop these trees in the desert. Let us stand to take them. Oh, damn, that was quick. Ah, uh, a fine bow. Pass for now. Oh, 
Imagine how much time you had to redo Guide this and over and over again. Metunamun. That was a little small fall. You will die, Medunamun. Die, bastard! Oh. Aimbot. <laughs> Damn. Interesting. Interesting. That's an interesting thing. At Xbox, we've always believed in the power of games to unite us all. Today, communities of gamers not only play together, they create together and watch together. A whole new genre of games has emerged designed for both the player and the community. And with Mixer, we're innovating new features to make these experiences even better. This one's special. Of all the games in this genre, here is one that the world is having as much fun watching as they are playing. And I can tell you that includes many of us at Team Xbox. The creative director of Player Unknown's Battlegrounds is a gamer turned developer what? who designed this game together with a passionate community. Please welcome Player Unknown himself, Brendan Green. No way. Holy crap, no. Thanks, Phil. Good afternoon, everyone. Player Unknown's Battlegrounds is a multiplayer battle royale where you must fight against 100 other players to be the last one standing. Our team's focus is to bring the most complete battle royale experience ever to console and deliver a great experience across all Xbox One devices. Our development is truly community driven, and we owe much of our success to everyone who's given us feedback over the past year. With over 3 million PC players to date, we can't wait to bring Player Unknown's Battlegrounds exclusively to <gasps> Xbox One later this year. No way! For Xbox One X enhancements, shipping with the final version. <gasps> See what? You the Battlegrounds, everyone. No way! That's play Xbox exclusive. exclusive. What? Holy crap! That's a launch title too? Oh.
damn, for Xbox to actually get this as an exclusive shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's crazy. Holy crap. Exclusive. Okay, what's this exclusive? Let's try to stick together this time. Is that what I think it is? I don't know, I don't think so. Nope. Actually looks pretty cool though. I can't feel my beard. And <laughs> dwarves? Oh my god. That's actually going to be interesting to play. Exclusive. What would you do if the world you knew was gone? All the comforts, the simple pleasures you took for granted. How would you protect yourself and the ones you love when the protectors can't even save themselves? Is this a new Dead Rising game? Oh, this got to be a new Dead Rising game. This looks like a dead, dead Rising game. The army's pulling out. Come on. Oh, this is a different one. Cool. Last truck, get in. How about you? No, is this the state of the K one? How will you decide who belongs? Choose a place to call home. How will you build it? Huh. Work together to defend it from the terror just outside the walls. get hungry, cold, what risks will you take? What mistakes will you make? When the only family you've got is about to tear itself apart, will you end the life? Wait. Or save it? Please. This is our only one, but we need everybody we've got. Oh god. Oh no, no. Damn it. When you get in too deep and realize it is no one the case. Gets a second chance. How 
will you find the strength to carry on? Holy crap. In this world of the living and the dead, how will you survive? Damn, next year, shit. Still though. <laughs> Exclusive. Damn, they just keep rolling it out. Damn. Ooh. This is like a Hunger in Games esque type of. One player remaining. I want to play for the wounded warrior. She was caught in a trap, but she used superior tactics to get herself out of there. She's going to take the win. Let's move on to the next arena. Here we're following <laughs> Bloody Marrow. There's only two players left in this particular map. Those tracks are leading up, but that tree is going to give them direct information. That red outline, there's a mortal unicorn, and he's letting in about 100 meters away now. Looks like he might be crafting or something, but what is this that Bloody Marrow's going to do? Getting ever closer, join that beeline, and now he's going to cloak it up. Is he going to walk in through the front door or what? Looks like he's going to sneak in on the back window. Here we go. Shot in the back. That's one twice. Immortal's in trouble. Somebody from Mixer decided to chime in. That invulnerability bubble's going to help him out and put on the front of his life. There we go, the next strike on Bloody Barrel, bouncing it up forward, there we go. Oh, that was gonna do the damage to the arrow to the belly. That's gonna be the win for Bloody Barrel. Wow. Bloody Barrel wins the round. That's cool. That's actually pretty cool with the interactivity. Oh god, what does Minecraft have in store? <laughs> no. What? No, you're not act actually activating crossplay now. Please welcome from Mo Yang, brand director Lydia Winters. Damn. This summer, millions of Minecraft players will be able to play together on the device of their choice for the first time. Xbox Live will unite the global Minecraft community across mobile, VR, Windows 10 PCs, and consoles. Jesus. As part of this effort, we're excited to welcome player-made skins, maps, textures, and massive community-run servers into the game itself. Because wow. we know that the amazing content you create makes Minecraft even better. This fall, Minecraft will receive a free 4K update 
that brings more graphical options to the game. But we didn't stop there. With all this talk about graphics, we're taking things one step further. Today, we're revealing a new look for Minecraft that we're super duper excited for you to try out. One that's inspired by the power of Xbox One X and available this fall. Let's check it out. That got me curious. Oh, wow. No way you're bringing it. No way you're bringing this to consoles. Wow. <laughs> of course. Damn, that looks so beautiful. Shit. It's all in just Minecraft too, shit. Dude. Damn. Minecraft in 4K. When the Minecraft team showed me the first version of the game in 4K, I was blown away. Moyang is a great example of a studio that started something new and different that led to a global phenomenon. At Xbox, we're searching for games that are fresh, new, and in some cases, familiar. That means ensuring that the biggest third-party franchises you want to play are there for you on Xbox One. Of course, you'll find these great games in the Xbox Store available for pre-order today. Nice, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. But bringing the biggest blockbuster franchise is just one part of the job. Delivering broad, diverse, and new games to Xbox means searching to find unique games from creators around the world that will surprise and delight. To me, these next few games do just that. Starting with a game I got to play on a recent trip to Japan. It's hilarious, a little crazy, and a whole lot of fun. Let's take a look at it. Huh. World premiere. One trip. What? Wow, they actually got a Dragon Ball Z game to like show up on the Xbox? Damn, that's like classic like Dragon Ball game. No way. What? What? Oh god. Oh. Wow. They actually bring Damn, that's a classic look. Classic Dragon Ball Z Exclusive. Game like gameplay. Oh 
Holy crap. Wow. This really looks interesting. Wow, that's actually pretty interesting. Huh. I'll give that a try. Exclusive. It's pixelated. So pixelated three. Actually, looks interesting too. I might like that. Exclusive. Damn, you're you're giving out all the exclusive shit. <laughs> oh, these might be the indie titles. I bet you all indie titles. <laughs> Coming when it's damn ready. Wow. <laughs> Pretty kind of awesome. Think that they're giving a lot of uh, these type of games on. Uh, I mean, even though most of these games are 2018, these are actually pretty cool. We've scoured the globe, meeting with creative artists and development teams, and I'm often surprised and humbled by their work. Whether it's a story that can only be born of a different land, or artistic design and storytelling that, in a single moment can capture your imagination and inspire. There is much to be learned by looking beyond borders. Our first party 
is also a place of innovation and creativity. Today, I'm excited to share with you an extended look at never-before-seen gameplay from Rare's shared world adventure, Sea of Thieves. Exclusive. Oh, nice, sweet. They're actually gonna show more Sea of Thieves. <laughs> Arr, me matings. Ah, the joy of a new voyage far across the Sea of Thieves. Just you, the wide open world, and oh, well, it's not just you, she's here too. Oh, <laughs> this guy's here. But, but, but the point is, this is a shared world. Right for exploring and raiding with your fine pirate crew. Look at them! Scurrying around, making themselves useful. That's what we like to see. That's a long The world of Sea of Thieves though. seethes with possibilities, with adventures skulking above and below the waves. Oh, All you have to do is jump in and up. Oh, there she goes. <laughs> oh, there she goes. Few things tempt a pirate like the siren song of a lootable shipwreck. Careful though, there could be anything down there. Literally, there could be anything. We haven't finished designing it yet. Joking, <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> Ah, sunken treasure. It's like a pirate performance bonus. Every player's decisions and discoveries will be different, but however you plan on seeking your fortune, it pays to be prepared. For gigantic lumps of iron, these are surprisingly portable. Amazing workmanship. <laughs> Ed, better get them back on board while the coast is clear. There's really no sense in pushing your luck down here. Uh -oh. That is not a beast you want to pick a fight with. Yes, no. it's possible to take on these toothy terrors of the deep, but you're not oh. much used to your crew bitten in two. Bye, mail shot. Sometimes a tactical retreat is perfectly acceptable, in the spirit of that legendary pirate captain, Pathetic Dave. Oh, hell shot. Oh. Thankfully, for every tense standoff, there's a moment of celebration or shared wonder. But for now, stow your hard-earned loot and enjoy the voyage. On Devil's Ridge beneath the sands, the gold lies hidden from thieving hands. Oh, well, that's typical. Oh, well, look! <laughs> Here we are at Devil's Ridge. Nice that transition, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> and so you'll shift from the heart of the sea to the island shore where you'll explore jungles and coves, cliff tops and caverns. Every region has its very own landmarks, and over time, you'll uncover hidden shortcuts, abandoned stashes, and vistas that'll steal your grog-soaked breath away. <laughs> and yes, sometimes you'll encounter people who, for whatever reason, would like to blow you into little pieces. <laughs> That's pirating for you. <laughs> Keep that pistol primed, because you'll also face the roaming remains of those raiders who came before you, Cut short in pursuit of their own legends. What? Ow. An afterlife oh. of fighting and troublemaking until all your bits fall off. It's what they would have wanted. Now, make sure your crewmates all have a part to play. What? <laughs> yep, that works. And look, he brought the riddle map. What? Seek the cursed boar shrine where there is no sky. It lies in wait for a light held high. Hmm. Right, well, that's got to be around here somewhere. But if you've got a bad feeling, you can always leave someone on board to brace the ship for a speedy getaway. Decisions, decisions. Ah, looks like they've sniffed out that place where there is no sky. Time to pull your resources as you plunge into the unknown. It would be easy to come a cropper in these claustrophobic caves. You don't want to wander off track. Unless, of course, you're streaming. And you'll have loads of people in the chat telling you what to do anyway. <laughs> I love this kind of game. Or this kind of gameplay. It's funny. Don't mind that. It's probably nothing. Just kids. <laughs> Alright. Of course, the Premier Plunder isn't just lying around to be claimed by any old drunken bumbler. You'll need to watch out for likely locations, following your map, clues, and your instincts to make light work of each new mystery. 
light one. Well, <laughs> lantern joke there. You're welcome. <laughs> anyway, step eleven paces northwest through the gloom. Dig my chest from its tomb. Hmm. And with that, we're one step closer to payday. Then again, some of the loot in these parts has lain undisturbed for a long, long time. That has to be the spot. You can practically taste the treasure. Good call on the double duty shovel work too. That storm outside was nipping at your heels. Ah, very nice. Of course, the trouble with treasure as a rule is that the owners really like to hang on to it. If you've got your hands full, it's up to your crew to watch your back. And while they're doing that, it's time for another strategic withdrawal with the loot. Nope, not that way. That's it. Easy now. Don't stop, keep going. Almost there. Watch that next step, it's a doozy. Oh. Now that's a rescue. chest back to your ship, you'll be able to turn a tidy profit by trading them in at an outpost. That's just the tiny matter of making it through this storm in one piece. No way. What? Is an infamy. Become a pirate of legend. Just try not to be this one. <laughs> that was actually pretty cool. <clears throat> Exclusive. Pretty cool. Exclusive world premiere. <gasps> no. <laughs> Damn it, wrong person. Damn you, you furry tail. 
I thought that was conquer for a second. pretty cool exclusive I can be hearing that a lot as I heard oh please let this be Cuphead please let there be a release date on it <laughs> nice all right. Yes! Nice! Finally release date! Sweet! Exclusive. It's an Xbox Play Anywhere title, too. <gasps> yes! They're actually going to show the part! <laughs> they killed the power around the world. We're going to light it back up, because this is far from over. In fact, it's only just begun. That's why we brought in you. You got the talent. Oh my god. Now you need the tech. Three, three, two, Today, <laughs> you throw grenades. Boom. Tomorrow, you'll be throwing cars. Ah. Forget dropping bombs. You're dropping buildings. <laughs> now it's time to get to work. <laughs> time to step up your boom. Oh. Uh, it's go time. Uh, uh, uh. Oh yeah! Welcome to the agency. Uh. Oh, actual gameplay footage. Determination to conquer all my ambitions. Ready to this position. And so And this is the Xbox Play Anywhere title too.
never have trouble. That's why they don't know what the struggle is. I don't pay the cost. And they know the boss. And I lost my losses. Now take it off. Now I'm a beast. Now I'm a least. Ready to beast. Beast like the least. I think they don't know the boss. Shit. That's called even got pyrotechnics for it. What? It's being released this year? What? <laughs> Hell yeah! I guess this, this is their indie part of the title. Showcase. Ooh, that looks cool. Oh god damn it, why now of all time? I gotta catch up now. Shit. What? That's cool. They actually bring it onto the onto the console. Huh. That's pretty cool. At Xbox, it's not just about finding creative artists. It's about empowering them and nurturing them, helping shine a light on their work making it easy for them to build and share their creations. That's why the ID at Xbox program is so important to us. The team has released over 500 games on Xbox One and Windows 10 through the ID at Xbox program. And this is not just a milestone for the program and the independent developer community. It's a milestone for everyone who loves great games. I hope you're reminded today why it's so great to be a gamer on Xbox. Action, adventure, story, skill, surprise. These next few games bring it all together. <clears throat> Let's start with a game whose stylistic approach alone makes it something very special. Exclusive. Oh, isn't this an uh, anthem? The dark is older than the light. No, it's not. Never mind. My bad. At last a day dawned, and we rose with this first light. Oh, that, that, that title. Okay. But that light was a betrayal, only fleeting. In its wake, the night returned to claim us. After lifetimes, the light grows again. Faint and vulnerable. This rebirth will end our wandering.
Oho. That's actually pretty cool. That is cool. World premiere. Ooh, by Square Enix. to the Life is Strange game? Wow. That's interesting. Please welcome, from Monolith Productions, Vice President of Creative, Michael DePlatter. Oh, wow. Now, now they're going to show up. Order. You tried to humiliate me. You left your mark on me, but it didn't work. You burned my mind. Die. I'll kill you. Until this moment, you have not known suffering! <sighs> I've had enough of your mouth, Bruce! So now I'm gonna kill you! For all these orcs to see! Oh, I said you were an optimist. Know what that is, mate? It's about sizing up a situation that's bloody impossible and saying, Yeah, all right, I'll have a go. I'm exactly <laughs> the same way. Jeez. Oh. In Shadow of Mordor, we introduced a way to create unique personal stories for every player. And in Shadow of War, we're expanding the Nemesis system. Two new what? features we're really excited about are forging an army of followers and Nemesis fortresses. Here, we'll use the Ring of Power and recruit this Olog, Bruce the Chopper, to expand our army. Then, we're going to assault a fortress controlled by one of Sauron's overlords. That was nasty! Nicely done! Oi! Reckon you're going to skewer me? Ah, that little sword's good for a tickle, maybe. But you're going to need more than that to take me down! Nice one, Ranger! Oh. This has never happened to me before! Now. 
What? Right, Lord, Dark Lord. Same thing, really. It results <laughs> me ripping spines out, which I like to do anyway, so either way's a win. A fine addition to our army. Name's what? Bruce. From here on out, I will be your shadow. No one gets to you without my say-so. Don't worry about my enemies. They will all follow eventually. You want to plant your flag in uh, Mordor, you'll need to do it deep. There's a fortress nearby. They say it's ruled by a two-headed troll big as a mountain and deadly smart. Which, well, I guess he'd have to be given the two heads. You take him <laughs> down, you'll send a message to Sauron and get yourself some nice new digs as part of the bargain. I'm not going to do this alone. Gather your troops. We'll do. Ooh, just make sure you let me pop his heads off, won't ya? <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh god damn, not again. Ah, uh, Hate this crap. So we already have a few loyal followers in our army. And recruiting Bruce, we're enormously expanding the open world of Mordor to new regions like Saragost and Kirith Ungol. Mordor's a massive, living, breathing world filled with orc society, tribes, and wildlife, as well as stories and secrets. You cleave me in two. Any other orc would have died, but I survived. More than that, I thrived. My brothers put me back together, stronger than ever. But they didn't make me into what I am. You did. You created the machine. No! So we've just been ambushed by the machine. He's tracked us across Mordor seeking vengeance. He's one of the seven new orc tribes we've added. The machine will grind you to paint. I hate big sticks. Cool, finally! Instead of killing the machine, we'll I dominate him, so life. we can take advantage of his abilities during the fortress assault. You take out the overlord. But before we charge headfirst into battle, we should plan our attack and select our followers. Wow. My black speech is a little rusty. Actually, I don't know a single word. Which is a pain in the ass, but to hazard a case, he said you're all gonna die horribly. Yeah, my kind of black. Well, I will handle the overlord. You focus on the defenders. Define focus. <laughs> Unlimited ways to forge your story and conquer Mordor in Shadow of War. And we can't wait to show you more this week at E3. Thank you very much. That's actually pretty cool. That's a good Exclusive step up for the, for the previous game. Premiere.
Wow, they actually got another game out? Nice. I'm not crying, you're crying. Ori affirms my belief in the beauty, artistry, and heart within the art of gaming. We believe that games, like books, movies, and music, should be celebrated and enjoyed by countless generations. We're passionate about preserving and celebrating the games you own, the classics of the past, and the genres you love to play. That's why two years ago, we launched the Xbox Backward Compatibility Program to bring Xbox 360 games to your Xbox One. And we've seen tremendous growth in the program. Today, our library of games stands at 385 titles, and over half of Xbox One gamers have played a backward compatible game. But I've heard your feedback, and you want more. Yes. Today, yeah. I'm pleased to announce an exciting expansion to the program. <gasps> no way! What? Oh my god, what? <laughs> no! <laughs> what? <laughs> that, what? Our team of engineers are working hard to bring us some of your favorite original Xbox game to today's Xbox One library. <laughs> including <laughs> a fan favorite that I'm asked about often by the community, Crimson Skies. Wow! And it looks great. And like the Xbox 360 games, OG games will look better and play better across the Xbox One family. We'll have more to share about this program when it launches later this year. Holy crap! I'm proud of the library of games available today on Xbox One. All of them will benefit from the performance and power when you play them on Xbox One X. But we won't stop there. I'm excited to announce that if you own Gears of War 4, Forza Horizon 3, Killer Instinct, Halo Wars 2, or Minecraft, we'll pre be providing 4K updates to these titles for free. Nice! Awesome! And we already have over 30 titles from our third-party partners that are planning to provide free updates as part of our Xbox One X Enhanced program. Nice, that's titles pretty cool. like Final Fantasy 15. Resident Evil 7. Jeez, that 4K? Tom Clancy's Ghost oh, nice. Recon Wildlands. And Rocket League, just to name a few. <laughs> nice. This means you probably already have a large library of titles that you own today that will automatically get better on Xbox One X. Today, we showcase some of the world's greatest creators with a lineup of different types of games for every type of gamer. We showed you the largest and most diverse lineup of new games that have ever appeared on our stage. From every corner of the globe, from developers large and small, 42 games, including 22 with console exclusivity on Xbox One. And you're also going to be able to play all of the biggest cross-platform blockbusters on Xbox One. And every game will play great across the Xbox One family. And on Xbox One X, runs every single game you've seen even better. Nice. So if you haven't joined the Xbox One family, now's the time. This week, you'll find Xbox One S available in the US for $249. And on November 7th, we'll begin worldwide rollout of Xbox One X. God damn it, come on! The world's most powerful console right, at 499. It's not Be bad. the first close today's show by looking to the future with a really great partner. They've been with us from the earliest days of Project Scorpio and they're building an incredible game that takes advantage of the power 
and performance of the Xbox One family and the new Xbox One X. Please welcome Patrick Sutherland, Executive Vice President, EA Worldwide Studios. All right. New IP is the lifeblood of our industry. It's oh. also risky. Yeah. At EA, we have teams dreaming up a lot of projects, and only the greatest will make it their way to you. And that's OK. It's all a part of the creative process. And it's worth it, because when you find something special, there is no better feeling as a developer than introducing players to a brand new world. And as a player, there's no better feeling than losing yourself in a completely new experience. Our developers at Bioware have been creating something truly special, a huge open world that is lush, savage, mysterious, and ever-changing. Filled with interesting characters and new types of gameplay, you'll enjoy with your friends for years to come. This is what's possible when we take an extraordinary vision and combine it with the latest technologies and hardware. Amazing concepts become possible. Great ideas become reality. So here we are. And we are so excited to share this with all of you. On behalf of the team at Bioware, let's see what this game looks like running on an Xbox One X. Here's John Warner from Bioware to show you Anthem. Yes, please. Actually, I'm curious about this game. <laughs> Hi, I'm John Warner, game director for Anthem. Here is the world premiere of Anthem's gameplay. Hey. Whoa. Freelancer. Praxley. Listen, there's trouble. Big trouble. What did you do? <sighs> I made a mistake. I hired some people. They weren't freelancers. I know. They said they could handle it, and the price was right. I thought maybe. Unbelievable. You're right. It was stupid. I'm sorry. But they're still out there, somewhere. If you could just bring them back. Anything you need. In the world of Anthem, you and your friends are freelancers. The heroes who leave the safety of the walls of Fort Tarsus to explore the unknown and protect humanity. Let's join two players as they head out on an expedition. Hey, Paul. You ready to go? I'm just grabbing some supplies. Just about ready. What are you going to use today? I decided to go with the Colossus. I'm going to use my Ranger. Try out some new upgrades. Every player will own an array of exosuits we call javelins. These suits give players superhuman capabilities and are heavily customizable so they look and play how you want. Nice. Holy yeah, crap. Looking good. Nice, you've got a mortar equipped. Yeah, I got it on the weekend. <laughs> you lead the way, I'll follow. This is a vast open world you explore with your friends. Each Javelin exosuit has its own unique playstyle. The Ranger is balanced in all purpose, while the Colossus is a tanking powerhouse. All right, let's see what's up here. The world of Anthem is hostile, and threats can come from any direction. This 
a dynamic world where the unexpected is around every corner. Holy crap. Yeah, he seems like a problem for another day. Oh shit. Get some fire from the head. I'll go low. You flank. Wow, even underwater too? I think we got some action there. Anyone? Anyone? We're under attack. Anyone in the area? We're under attack. I think that's part of Praxis' mission. You can equip your Javelin exosuit with gear that brings devastating power to combat. Down there. Oh, the scars have a heavy. Have time to use that mortar. Oh. Give me some covering fire. There's a bunch more coming in. Okay, I'll get this round. What? <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap! Oh, come on. Be something good. Oh, yes! Jerry's wrap. Oh, nice. Large scale world events like Shaper Storms are dynamic and pull you off the beaten path with the promise of new stories to discover. Oh, Shaper Storm incoming. Okay. Actually, let's get some more people. Hold on a sec. Hey guys, what's up? Hey, what's happening? I'm right behind you. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Whoa. This storm is getting crazy. supposed to do? Fly into it? All right, let's do this. See you on the other side. Our story is out there. That's actually a really interesting game. Just like, just like I said yesterday, that's a really interesting game.
Yeah, there we go. So, hey, that was actually pretty good streaming and everything. Like, wow, that was, that was really good. Like, damn, they really, they really pull out, pull it out this time a lot. Like, damn. Wow, so many games they actually have, like, released for next year. I mean, <clears throat> like, yeah, a lot of games released for next year, but also then, they also have a, a quite a bit of games coming out this year, too. But the biggest surprise for me, at least, being Crackdown 3, because <laughs> with Terry Crews intro, just because that, uh, for one, like, they revealed it, like, I think in 2010. Hold up. They revealed it in 2010, and, um, and, or no, not 2010, my bad, sorry, way later, uh, 2013, it was, it was one of the original, like, or one of the original, like, uh, IPs that was shown for, um, for it, but, um, what was crazy about it is that, like, after that showing, they never showed it again, so, Bad. Yeah, they never showed it again after that, though. So, and for them to actually release like an actual gameplay trailer, not only that with the actual launch date too, that's really amazing. And also then a uh, Cuphead too. That was another game that last year and I think maybe the year before they actually like announced that it was gonna be on the uh, idea on the Xbox. They finally show off a release date is actually really cool because I've been wanting to play that game for a while. And the price for the Xbox One X. It's actually the same price like as everybody thought it would be though. The it's gonna be four hundred and ninety-nine dollars for it. But also then the Xbox One S is a uh, twenty two hundred and forty uh, what was it? But still that's that I mean even though that's uh But still though like that's really like uh that was a really good lineup. Like I'll admit that. Like even though most of it is kind of like coming later on to like early next year and stuff like that, it still is like shown. Like they actually had some. Some of them actually had gameplay footage and everything, which is really awesome and stuff. Not to mention that um, because th the way I kind of started noticing that they're starting. They put out all the games that are going to be coming in within the next year or starting next year out first. <coughs> And then slowly start like making the games that are gonna be coming out this year too, which some of them I was really surprised though too. Like wow, not only that, also then like Xbox actually really are uh, in development with um with their team to actually backwards compatible, make backward compatibility for the original Xbox. The original Xbox is like really mind-blowing too because it's like I mean we all know that 360 had to have it and because we, we all know that at least like you always had to have one backward compatibility for one generation back so Xbox 360 had to have Xbox the original Xbox and the Xbox one had to have the original 360 games but for them to throw a bombshell of actually bringing back the original Xbox games onto the xbox is really mind-blowing because it's like holy crap this is nuts like that just really blows my mind like holy crap like wow dude i i this this really sets up a bar really high though for what games they actually have same with ba like players underground battlegrounds that game i know it's actually on pc and everything because I knew, like, because of course they part. I think I heard from Sora they were going to bring the consoles. I didn't think that Xbox would literally bring that on exclusively to to play to Xbox, which is really mind blowing. Because I was like, it's like really wow. But man, so many stuff to like think about. So many stuff to look forward to. Oops. But yeah, it's like so freaking crazy though. Like wow. So, so anyway, um, overall that that was a really good high like presentation. 
Like, I can't wait till like to see uh, how Sony reacts to it. Because like, uh, this year was supposed to be uh, Xbox year to, like, improve the bar from what they usually go- do. Because before then, they used to just have, like, nothing but talks, talks, talks. Like, someone having, like, roughly any games. But for this year, for having so many games, like, 44 games to show off, 22 of them being exclusive to the Xbox is really mind-blowing, though. Like, that's one thing they actually needed to, like, bring it back here. Like, wow. So, anyway, um, I'm actually going to end the stream now. I already got most of my thoughts, like, at least put out. All the stuff at least I could remember. Because also, also, then, Atham, that one actually kind of, like, thought, thought about, like, um, was it Destiny? Like, kind of like how it was beginning. Like, it, it gave me that Destiny vibe-ish of, like, how it, it plays, basically. But, yeah, like, I... That one actually, like, looks really interesting. I actually want to play it, too. So, that's one good thing. But, yeah, I have all my thoughts, like, at least out right now. At least for right now. And if not, like, um, I'll say it later. But, for uh, right now, I'm going to end the stream because I need to take a break in between all of that. I need to wait till 10, 10 at night for here. 12 o'clock for you people in, in uh, Eastern Time. Because Bethesda is going to be showing off what they have in store. And that one, I'll actually will start... 20 minutes to half an hour early it depends like like uh, if I actually know what to talk about and stuff but I'll actually get my like pre thoughts on it like what they might unveil or like what what may come out and everything so oh yeah two two fit 49 for the Xbox one s just for a smaller for 500 gigs which is not bad though and then X of course higher it's gonna get like three hundred dollars or 299 and stuff but 49 for that one I actually wouldn't mind paying that one which I actually might pre-order for it though because that's actually really cool because i actually do want that xbox load and for it to be smaller than the xbox one s2 that's like really nuts not only it's most powerful it's the smallest xbox in the in the company which is even nuts like holy crap but yeah anyway 499 for the xbox one x and for and 249 for the xbox one s and everything is still going to be using pretty good it's just that like Xbox One S has 4K, like, up up and everything, but still. But, yeah, like, I'm going to end the stream now, as I said, keep saying it before. And uh, hopefully you'll join me at around, like, 9.30, 9.40 Eastern, Easter time. And, uh, or if not, like, in East, or in Pacific time, it's going to be, was it 8.40, 8, 8.30 Pacific time. Now, um, and Easter time is going to be like 11.30, 11.40-ish type. So, hopefully you'll join me for the Bethesda, Bethesda um, conf- press conference. And uh, I hope you really enjoyed my thing. It'll, it's going to be on my uh, YouTube channel if, um, if you miss any of it or want to re- watch, my <coughs> watch my reaction again. So, I uh, hope you see you all later on today. See ya.